Hey guys and welcome to a key guide for the lab's red key card. This key currently spawns in the pockets and bags of scavs as well as on shoreline and two spots in customs. So the red key card can spawn on glue car killer or rochella as well as it can spawn in the docks cases and wallets in the marked rooms. So that's the RBBK, RBVO and the marked room itself. So for the first location, you can see the back of the helicopter over there. What you're going to want to do is head into the admin building, head up the stairs and then head up the next set of stairs, turn left, follow it all the way down to the very end. You've got this door open right here. And you can see a PC over to the left hand side. There's this little ashtray next to a cup and right there spawns the red key card. Once on shoreline, you need to head up to the resort. Once at the resort, if you're at the front of the resort next to the helicopter, what we're going to do is run over to the left side, which is the west side, which is the red key building. The first room we're going to be hitting up is the normal, um, the normal spawn where it spawns on top of the blue barrels. There are three rooms that all link up together. What you need to do is go into the second floor. We call this long. And the three keys that you can use to open up is 218, 221, and 222. So I have the key for 221. If you enter from this room, all you need to do is go through the balcony and then you're into 221. Then go through the balcony again and then you go into 218, which is this room right here. And the key card spawns on top of the barrel. Now what we're going to do is head along the hallway on second floor, go back the way we just came and jump over the barbed wire. Once over the barbed wire, continue past a little zigzag and then just next to where the hole in the roof is, you have got 205 and 203. So the key does spawn in 203, but you can also enter it from 205. So if you're coming from 205, once again, walk in go through the balcony and now you're in this bedroom right here and you can see this piece of paper next to the bed next to the end table and it spawns just here. Now what we're going to need to do is head downstairs into the basement of West Building. So this is first floor or ground floor and now we're in the basement. Over here is the pool right here. What you're going to want to do is head into the gym. Once in the gym, you got these blue shells on the left hand side and the key spawns right there on the shelf from the bottom. So now we are going to need to head into east side. So for that, we can always run over the sky bridge, which is what we're going to do. Just bear in mind, if you are going to do this, it is quite risky because you do get people who can shoot from the windows up top there and up top there onto sky bridge and of course from admin building on the other side so continue a long go past the zigzag and we're still on the second floor because the numbers are two what you're going to want to do is go past the hole in the floor and you can see this weapon box on the table on the left hand side where it says 218 next to where the weapon box is what you're going to do is head in here go through the balcony and then next to the laptop, right here, spawns the final red key card. Okay, so another location is actually in customs. These aren't specific red key card spawns. There's something that you should just be noted of. People have got red key cards from these locations, so just bear it in mind and you should always check it. So there's two spots in customs. We are currently at the old gas station right here that can spawn any item in the game so on this table right here just here it can spawn a red key card but it could also spawn any item in the game so violet key card or four tama or a stock m4 or anything in the game can spawn right here where that mag is as well as if you come round the back of old gas station you can jump over this little fallen bit of fence right there and right here where i'm aiming where this, what is it today, this MOE AKM handguard can also spawn any item in the game as well right here. So these aren't actually confirmed spawns, but they do spawn any item in the game and there has been people who have got red key cards from this location. 
And now where to use this key? This key is used in labs. So once you're in labs, we are currently at the reception area. These are the entrance elevators just here. What we're going to need to do is head up to this room up to the top left. So if we head up these stairs, you have the cat statues right here. Turn left if you're looking at the cat statues. Just before the toilets just there, you have this room right here and enter this room. There is a keypad on the left. What you're going to do is follow it round to the left hand side and you can see this big door and this is where you use the keycard. Once it's open, then inside you've got ammo boxes just over here. You can get weapon spawns here as well as more ammo boxes and miscellaneous weapon spawns all around. Inside here you do actually need to have the arsenal storage room key. There will be an iCard at the top right hand corner if you'd like to know how to get this. Just something that's really cool about this room is that you can actually lock people inside. So let's say you open it up and someone runs in there. You can close the door and then they're actually stuck in there because they need to use the key card to open up the door again. This is one of the only rooms that's actually inside labs that does this which is actually kind of fun but there is a keypad just on the right hand side that you can use if you lock yourself in. And it's also pretty good to keep yourself safe if you do have the arsenal storage room key then you can actually come in, lock it, unlock this, grab all this and then you can tell if someone's here because you can hear the keycard buzzer go by the time you get there and if you're doing a hatchet running or pistol running then you can just throw stuff straight into your gamma container. So at the time of this recording, this key is currently going for 40 million rubles, which is absolutely mental. I would definitely not recommend buying this key for this much, just because it will take you an awful lot of time. I would say I would value the key between 10 mil and 15 mil. If it's going for 20 mil, maybe grab it if someone's posted it wrong or something. But I would actually recommend it if it's between 10 and 20 mil. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting 8am GMT. Also, we now have a website that has all of the information on my YouTube channel in one location, which will be in the link in the description where you can navigate it very easily and find what you're looking for. Guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.